waste time trying to impress other people. We waste time accumulating things that we don't need that they're just gonna throw out when we die. We waste the most precious resource that we have, which is not money, it's time. Time is obviously our most precious resource, and Stoics knew this. They obviously lived in the ancient world where people died all the time. Uh, they also lived in the ancient world where you could be thrown in prison for some made-up offense. So they understood that time, now, the present moment, was so important. They also tried to be productive. They also tried to lead good lives. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about that, the art of time management according to the Stoics. I'm Ryan Holiday. I've written now 10 books about ancient philosophy. I've spoken to everyone from the NBA to the NFL, sitting senators and special forces leaders, often on this very topic. How do we manage our time? The hardest question to answer in the world, why successful, smart people waste so much time. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about some uniquely stoic strategies for managing your time, not just in light of our mortality, but managing your time right now to be more productive, to be more joyful, to be more present in your everyday life and use the time you have been given effectively. You gotta know what your time is worth. Seneca says, never give anyone an hour of your time without a return. It doesn't mean that you, you don't ever be generous, you don't help people, that's not what it means at all. It means understanding that your life, your time, is your most precious resource. And, and every time you give it away, every time you spend it, you can never get it back. It's a non-renewable resource. So you have to understand literally what is an hour of your time worth. And that's why you outsource things that cost less than what you get paid for that time. That's why you say no to things that you don't really want to do, that you, you don't have to do. You have to protect your time, right? When we think about memento mori from, from the Stoics, it's really this, that it's our most precious resource and that we have to protect it. We have to understand what it's worth and not fritter it away, not sell it too cheaply, but protect it because it matters. They're not paying you to do the thing. They're paying you to leave your house. That's one of the things that Stoicism has taught me, is realizing that time is the precious resource. What they're buying from you is your life. Not only are they buying the fact that you can't do something else while you're doing the thing you agree to, but they're buying time you can never get back. And so if you realize what you're selling, it should help you, one, not do things that you don't want to do. Two, it should help you name your price. And three, it should remind you of the stakes, right? What you are spending here, like, that you are spending something to get paid. As you are working on something, time is working on you. So you can't waste it, you can't take it for granted. So you remember what they're paying you for, which is your life, it should change how you think about it. I just watched the sun go down here on the beach. Every time you see the sunset, every time you see the sunrise, you should stop as the Stoics do and remind yourself, you will never see that again. You'll never see that specific sunrise or specific sunset again, that's part of it. But the other thing is that's one less that you will ever get in your life. The Stoics say, it's not that death is in the future, but that we're dying every minute, every day. Every time we see the sunset, every time we get a haircut, every time we watch a few seconds tick on the clock, you have to remind yourself that it's time you will never get back. Time is not just our most precious resource, but it's tick, tick, ticking away. It is non-renewable. So the idea of memento mori for the Stoics was that time is fleeting, it is escaping us. It is killing us as we are killing time. Death is there in every sunset, every sunrise, no matter how beautiful, remind yourself of that little bittersweet fact so you never take another one or another minute for granted. It's not that life is short, Seneca says, it's that we waste a lot of it. We waste a lot of it online, we waste a lot of it seeking pleasure or experiences in Las Vegas or whatever the next resort or trendy place in the world is. We waste it chasing things as if we don't already have everything that we need inside of us. We waste time trying to impress other people. We waste time accumulating things that we don't need that they're just gonna throw out when we die. We waste the most precious resource that we have, which is not money, it's time. Time is the most precious resource. And when you look back on your life, you're not gonna think of that time you got drunk in Las Vegas. You're gonna think of where you made a difference in somebody else's life. You're gonna think about the time that you spent with your family. You're gonna think about moments when you were still not chasing things. Life is short, Seneca says, yes. 
but it's long if you know how to use it. We are not very good with time. Seneca says, uh, it's not that we don't have enough of it, it's that we waste a whole lot of it. But one of the wonderful things I found about having kids is that it puts this in perspective. Because I'm not wasting my time. When I'm over committing, I'm not taking time for myself. I'm stealing time from my children. I'm stealing time that I promised someone else. I'm stealing time that I will never get back, that I'll never have the opportunity to give again. And so we have to think about time as our most precious resource. Seneca says death is not in the future, death is happening right now. We're dying every minute when we waste it on social media, waste it uh, in pointless meetings, when we waste it going to things that we don't need to go to. We waste it when we're sitting around watching television even though we have a million other things to do. We waste our time, but we're not just taking that time from ourselves, we're taking it from our children, we're taking it from the important work that only we can do, we're taking it from our spouse, and of course we are also taking it from ourselves. Stop wasting time, it's your most precious resource, and you have to protect it not just for yourself, but for the people you care about, and the people that you don't know how much time you will get with in this life. I hope you like this video, I hope you subscribe, but what I really want you to subscribe to is our daily Stoic email, one bit of Stoic wisdom, totally for free to the largest community of Stoics ever in existence. You can sign up at dailystoic.com slash email. There's no spam. You can unsubscribe at any time. I love sending it. I've sent it every day for the last six years, and I hope to see you there at dailystoic.com slash email.